So moving to Texas may seem like a dream come true for many people, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you the dark side of living in Texas. It's not always sunshine and cowboy boots. <laughs> so I'm gonna share why you may reconsider your move. The number one, the biggest, darkest thing about living in Texas are paying those darn property taxes. Texas has one of the highest property tax rate in the entire country. So if you're doing some calculations, I always tell people calculate it about 2.4% is the average percentage of tax rate. Some can pay 2.8% or last house was 2.8. Some can pay as high as 3.2% property tax rate. Now I'm currently paying 1.8%, which is hallelujah. <laughs> But those property taxes can get you. Now, listen also, for some people who have higher incomes, they may, because we don't have a state income tax, you may end up paying less in tax by buying a property here in Texas. And so I've had many clients who say they're saving money with paying property tax in Texas versus state income tax. And so it really just depends on your given situation you know where you're gonna land on that. But at the end of the day, no one likes paying taxes. Let's talk about the weather in Texas. There is a dark side. If you haven't heard, we have had tornadoes, but not just tornadoes. The weather is like as unpredictable as a poker game. <laughs> we don't know in the springtime if it's going to be uh, storming out. We don't know if it's going to be sunny. We don't know if it's going to be hot or humid. <laughs> but on the beautiful days, like today is a gorgeous day. It's beautiful. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. We do have several storms that come through. The biggest thing for us is hail. If a hail storm comes through, we don't want our cars or our roofs to be damaged. Now, just a little word on the roofing. If you have a hail storm and it hits the roof, um, we do have insurance and we plan on replacing a roof about every 10 years, just to kind of give you an idea, but we pay the deductible, like a 1% deductible, and then they replace the roof. So it's not like we have to come up with 20 grand for a new roof. But yes, the weather can be the dark side of Texas. Okay, we have to mention tornadoes. Now this is a beautiful sunny day, so we're not really expecting any tornadoes soon, but it is the season. May is the peak season for tornadoes. Um, if you go to weather.gov, you can find how many touch down in the state of Texas. Texas does have like the number one tornado touchdowns in the entire US, but you also have to realize that Texas is the second largest um, in square miles as well. So naturally it may have more than say Oklahoma. Now the number one place for tornadoes is actually Houston. And I think it's just because of the weather coming up from the Gulf. And so that's the number one, but there's only like a handful. We're talking like two to three a year that touch down in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Welcome to the bug kingdom of Texas. Yeah, bugs are definitely the dark side of living in Texas. Let's talk about these bugs. So the biggest pests in Texas are ants, spiders, uh, roaches. Uh, those main things are treated by our pest control. So while you may be out and about and you're gonna find fire ants, you definitely wanna watch out for them. Um, if you treat them at your house with pest control, they're really not a big deal. Also, spiders. We do still see spiders at our house, even though we treat, but they're not as common as when we first moved in. It was bad, especially if you're buying new construction, just know you're gonna wanna get pest control out there very, very quickly. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes are big in Texas and we treat for mosquitoes at our house as well. And we have seen a drastic reduction in mosquitoes at our personal property. Now, if you're going to be going camping, you definitely want some bug spray. Snakes, if you are in tall grass, you want to wear boots and jeans, even in the hot summer, because you just want to be protected. I rarely see snakes, but they are out there, if, especially if you're living in the country or by a green belt with, say, water and tall grass. Uh, but I rarely see a snake. It's been probably a couple of years since I've seen one, living in the suburbs. There are mice here in Texas as well. They can, they're 
a big nuisance if you get them. And so if you happen to have mice, especially again, new construction tends to have more critters because you're disturbing their habitat. And so uh, with a new house, we have had to deal with mice in the attic. We've never seen them inside the house personally, but older homes, you're just gonna have to get a professional if you have mice. <laughs> I've never had to hire a professional, but I know that they're out there. In Texas, there are also scorpions. I very rarely see them, but let me say if you live closer to West Texas or in the dry climates uh, or in the country, you may see a scorpion. Uh, I've seen them real little ones every now and then. Oh, wasps. Wasps are a big nuisance here in Texas. And again, we have pest control come out. They come out every quarter and they knock down any uh, wasp nests that they see on our house. And so we don't, you know, run into them. But if you're at parks or things like that in the summertime, you might want to just kind of watch out for wasps. Another negative about living in Texas is the crowded growing areas. And so areas like Prosper off three, Highway 380, we have North Lake. It's a booming city right now, but it's so crowded. Traffic is nutto. And the North Alliance Corridor. It's just so many people everywhere. Now, don't get me wrong. These are beautiful new developments with plenty of shopping, eateries, things to do. But man, sometimes it's just frustrating to get out and about and driving in the traffic. The other dark side about Texas is the continual battle for conservative versus liberalism. <laughs> Texas does lean conservative, but if you're liberal, you may be, feel a little out of place here in Texas, especially in the country areas, not so much the major cities like Dallas, um, Austin, and all of that. But as I sit at a, in a Chick-fil-A line for lunch, uh, I was thinking about the conservative bent, which I don't, I actually like, but for some people, there's some negative things out there about how conservative Texas is. But I, I don't always agree with it all. I think that um, it's pretty healthy here. And there's actually kind of a healthy balance here as well. And if you can get over all of these things, which I still love Texas, and you're moving to Texas or you have a house to sell in Texas, we would love to be your real estate resource. All you have to do is call us, email us, or set up a Zoom consultation in the link below and we would be happy to help you.